Hello, Mr. Nygren here. <coughs> Welcome to Total War 1942, a mod for Rome Total War and Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. So this is my sub mod for it, released on, uh, I believe, December 30th, 2021. <coughs> so we are going to watch the AI fight a battle. It's Romania versus the Soviet Union, or the USSR. See the Romanian army here, they have a smaller roster than other factions and they share a bunch of units with others but have unique skins. So they have uh, <coughs> their entire army will be used except their ship here, the trooper. So there are naval custom battles too. And of course the ships won't be used in a land battle. It's possible but it would look very bad. Okay. So they have uh, two riflemen, <coughs> the basic militia, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and they have two assault infantry units, uh, it's like um, infantry with uh, assault rifles, they have scout snipers, so sky uh, uh, a sniper unit, and then they have two cavalry units, just like the Italians. That we have, uh, it's like mounted riflemen, they have rifles and are on horseback. Then we have the Stokes Mortar Artillery, used by every faction in the game. And they have the Pack 40 German Artillery, so this faction also has the German Artillery. So it was, uh, Romania was a minor Axis power that uh, aided in the invasion of the Soviet Union. <coughs> then they have reskins of the Renault FT French light tank. And the uh, Somo S35 <coughs> French light tank. I believe both are light tanks, but the Renault FT is from 1917, I believe. And the Somo S35 is from 1936. So there are a bunch of years between these, but uh, I believe that both are light tanks. This has better armor too, but both have a very light cannon. So they will use three of the Somo S35 as the Renault FT or so obsolete but I believe that they wouldn't have many of them in the invasion okay and the aircraft truck they have one and at the aircraft truck and then they have a Messerschmitt 109 fighter plane same as Germany <coughs> and Hungary and some others with a unique skin and they have the U-52 bomber and transport plane also a German plane but used by Hungary, I believe, and uh, this faction, Romania, maybe someone else too. And then they have the armored officers called the General Spoil Guard. So they do not have the largest army, they have very basic infantry, they have cavalry, like the Italians, and they have the same artillery as the minor axis powers, the other ones, and, and as the Italians. They have the French tanks, the only other faction with French tanks, I believe. Uh, and they have the same planes as Hungary, I believe. Okay, so no unique units for this faction, but unique skins. Then we have the Soviet Union, they have a much larger army. They only have one ship unitated trooper, the rest are playable units on a land battlefield. I believe they had a bunch of extra ships, I believe two or three extra ships, I think it was two. Maybe the Moscow and someone else. But uh, as this sub mod focused on the campaign, I decided to remove, I believe, two ships from from the custom battles in order to keep two of the tanks. I believe Degwex had removed, I believe, two of the tanks in order to make room for some new units. And uh, instead of removing those tanks, I removed two ships because I don't care about custom battle ship battles that much. You know, I I play. Total War for the campaign, so I wanted all the all the land units and infantry and such in the campaign and the planes. Uh, I believe their ships take up slots that could be used by planes and by by tanks and bikes and and such cars. So by removing two of the ships, I could keep two of the tanks. I believe. Okay. <coughs> Instead of removing the tanks and adding the new units from 2.01. Okay, uh, <coughs> so this version has the new stuff but has removed two of the, I believe, Soviet ships. 
Okay. <laughs> so the Soviet Union has the same armor as in the other battles. They won't use the American Boeing B-17 Land Lease Bomber. I believe they still will win this battle. They won against Hungary and Romania has, in my opinion, a worse army than Hungary. So we'll see. Let's start the battle. <coughs> It's been a while since I last made a video. This video might not be uploaded the same day as I make the video. So it's, I believe, um, Thursday now. Clock is 21.25 Swedish time. So it's late Thursday. It's been about 9 days since I... Well, almost 10 days since I uploaded the last video where Britain defeated Italy a battle. The reason it took uh, this long is because I were on a five day vacation between uh, Wednesday last week, Wednesday I believe August the 3rd and uh, I believe I returned home on Sunday the 5th, late Sunday. So I've been at home since late Sunday. It was almost I believe uh, Monday when I returned home. Okay so I've been um, home for I believe um, uh, four days now and uh, I haven't played anything so that's why it's been <coughs> almost ten days since the last video was uploaded that's why I'm doing this video now but unfortunately I'm using the Nvidia Shadow Play recorder so I will need to process the video and start the other computer in order to process it so in the in an editing program or tool so I'm not sure I will upload this video immediately. I might do some other videos where I don't have to process the videos. Of course in other games, like Herald Total War or something. So we might upload uh, some of those videos first, even if they are recorded after this one. You'll see, this is the first video I am recording after the, the, the one from Wednesday the 3rd, uh, I believe last week. Uh, okay. 3rd of August 2022. Okay, start deployment. We'll move the armored officers officers cardboard guard back. <coughs> so we can retreat from the battle almost immediately. Okay, and then we'll take a look at the Romanian army. We won't check the Soviet army because it's the same as in the other battles. We will take a look at the Romanian army. Here we have the infantry. Riflemen of Romania. They look a bit different, they have a unique texture and different helmets and such. Unique for Romania. have the anti-aircraft trucks of Romania with unique skins, symbols. So they too have anti-aircraft trucks. They have two units of riflemen. And they assault infantry. Fortunately they are in high grass so you can hardly see the weapons but they look like the other assault infantry units used with the unique Romanian skin, we have the cavalry, Romanian cavalry, mounted riflemen on horseback, similar unit to the Italian, then we have the Soma 35, <coughs> light tanks from 1936 in France, so uh, Romania got the same tanks as the French, only two of the four tanks that the French have. I believe the French have four tanks, but two of them were not from World War II. I believe one of them was from the very late war, like 1945 or 44, and the other one was from the 50s, I believe. Okay, so they have three units of this 
better light tank. A unique like Romanian symbol there. Then I have the aircraft trucks. I have the Stoke motors. Stokes motors. Stokes motor. Okay. Okay, so that's the same artillery as the others. That's for the other faction. Okay, and then we have the pack 40s. Nothing new there either. We have the armed officer's car. But I believe they have the wrong uh, banner. They have the French banner, these cars. So they have the same cars as the French. And the banner is unchanged. I believe this is the French Republic colors. Okay, we have the general here. Range <coughs> uniform and more pack 40s. Then we have the scout snipers and more of the cavalry. And then we have some tanks. We have the Renault FT light tanks, the 20s, the verse tank, only one such unit. And then they have, I believe, another unit of Soma S35 light tanks. Okay, then they have some planes. They have the U-52 German transport and bomber plane, also in use by <coughs> Hungary and maybe someone else. It's not in use by Germany. It has unique uh, Romanian colors here, I believe. So we have unique Hungarian and Romanian skins. We have uh, the Messerschmitt 109 fighter plane, also in use by Hungary and Germany and others like Spain. They have one bomber and one fighter. That's the entire air fleet, I believe. They had two units. I believe the Soviet had uh, the Yak-9 and the MiG-9. Or the Yak-9 and MiG-3, I don't know. Uh, fighters. They had no bombers in the battle. And then they had uh, the aircraft trucks too. Okay. Let's start the battle and retreat with our armored officer's car bodyguard. We are playing on the Karelia battlefield again during summertime. The only battlefield that fit the invasion of the Soviet Union. Let's take a look at the Soviet army. They have a huge army too. But here we can see their planes, the red Yak-9 fighters. The yellow, or brighter at least, uh, MiG 9s, I believe, or MiG 3s, I don't know, I don't remember. Two fighter planes. Then we have the riflemen. I believe the Soviets are the ones attacking, by the way. We have the anti aircraft trucks. Rifleman, they had two units of riflemen and two units of assault infantry, I believe. They have some heavy tanks. I believe these are the IS-3 uh, best tanks of the Soviet Union in the game. Assault infantry of the Soviet Union. Oh, the Kadyusha rocket artillery has started to fire. Tanks. Don't remember the name, but they are the worst light tank of the Soviet Union. Ah, the planes, the bombers, and the, the, the light tanks there. And the U-52s there. The Soviet Union has sent in the rocket trucks, taking down some of the planes. Every range unit in the game can take out the plane uh, because that's just hard coded in Road to the War. That uh, any range unit can, can take out any unit in the game, but it's 
uh, very difficult for a rifleman to do it. It's impossible because they uh, they are routed too easily. Planes and the tanks have very high hit points. They will will not break easily. They will not go down easily. But of course, uh, rocket trucks and tanks can take out planes, but it's difficult. Planes are the best units in the game, so they still have an advantage. Tear the, the infantry can take out uh, tanks and planes too. They are usually routed before they can do that. You have the uh, best artillery of the Soviet Union. The description didn't say if they were from the Second World War or the 50s. I used them in the battle. Some for some of the other factions they said the 50s or that they were um, designed during World War II but never been used. And then I decided I didn't uh, I actually use okay. For some reason this battle was a little bit laggy, unlike unlike my play of the battle previously. I believe I restarted the computer. <coughs> so it shouldn't lag, but for some reason I think it does. Maybe there are too many programs on. I try to shut down every program before starting this battle. Maybe I forgot something, I don't know. It felt more slow at least than when I played it last week. And I just restarted the computer, so it shouldn't be an issue. Here are the Soviet aircraft trucks. It's not lagging, but it kind of uh, has some annoying. Uh, well, we have the Romanian cavalry here. Yeah, not the best battle. Here we have the Romanian Messerschmitt 109 fighters. <coughs> yeah, battles between two armies shouldn't lag at all. Or even uh, have issues. <coughs> Even on huge we have another chiller piece of the Soviet Union, but the crew seems to have been routed. Here we have one that is still firing. Soviet tanks are still around the IC3. Heavy tanks. Yeah, I didn't like this battle. It flicker. It had flickering. <sighs> Very annoying. Soviets still have a lot of fighting planes in the battle. I believe Romania has the weakness that their bombers are easily taken down. Just like with Hunger, the U-52 uh, bombers weren't very good. They were easily shot down, unlike other planes. That's why they lose, I believe. Because they have already lost their, their U-52 um, armada. I suspect that this battle would go about the same as for Hungary, but worse, probably. They had no unique units. Hungary at least had um, unique tanks that looked cool. They were the Romanian and aircraft trucks, they are still around.
<clears throat> yeah, this battle was a bit too, too uh, slow for my taste. Soviet is one of the cool uh, great powers of the game. The uh, bunch of cool units, but Romania is not one of the coolest factions. They're one of the weak factions, so care too much about Romania. <coughs> Unlike Hungary, they do not have any unique units. Hungary at least had really cool unique tanks. Romania have uh, this advantage in fighter planes. Oh, we still have some. FT Romanian tanks here, but they are broken. Uh, the entire truck tracks of Romania are also broken. Retreating. Maybe if they had one more of the fighter planes, they could have done better. But it makes sense that they would lose. I have the cavalry here, but they are routing. routing. Broken. Yeah, I don't like the flicker. They are very numerous, the cavalry. Traveler over here. Yeah. Broken. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, 
this battle was a letdown. Lag too much. Had too much flickering. Still have the stocks mortar firing here. Yeah, I believe so. It won mostly thanks to their planes. Fight plane superiority. I believe the UV-52s should be given, I believe, uh, more hit points. So they are, uh, have the same hit points as the UV-88 and the uh, Boeing B-17s, otherwise they are too easily shot. So they can't cause enough damage on the enemy. They are shot down before they can really do any damage on the enemy. They did uh, take down some tanks, I believe, at the beginning of the battle, but <coughs> for the most part they are uh, killed off before they can do anything. The very reason why I boosted uh, the uh, U88 the Sabon. The Boeing B-17s were already good. Uh, so that planes rather the artillery. Average defeat. <coughs> okay. Captain Hori of Romania had 2,681 men. Lost 1,095. A 1,507 remaining. Captain Grigori of the Soviet Union has 3,465 men. Had 3,465 men in the beginning of the battle. They killed 2,079. Ah, so they killed 2,079. And Romania killed 1,095. Soviet killed about twice as many. And uh, yeah, have about 1,000 more alive. Okay. So thank you for watching. Bye.